Now we're going to do the tributary area for our uh, package of 3.22 loads. And here we go. The interior beam tributary width is, and we'll go back to the picture down here and we'll look at this. So we have that this is a seven foot uh, zero inch span from year to year. And as we know, that means that this is going to be our tributary area from here to here. I'll just put some of the stuff in that we did before. And of course, uh, the lines going across here, that's a beam. The thick heavy lines here, those are girders. Remember the definition of a girder is it's a structural support that uh, holds another structural support up. And then of course we have our columns here. So half a seven foot is three feet six inches. So the distance from here to here is going to be seven feet. So that is going to be our interior beam tributary or tributary area, however that is correctly pronounced. So we're going to take this and make that seven. Now what we need to do is we're going to calculate what they call the uniform beam loading. And we're going to do that for the interior beam right now. So we're going to take the tributary width, which is seven feet, and we're going to multiply that times our 47 PSF that we calculated back a few steps right here. So that 47 transfers to this location right here. So let's get out the calculator. Oops, cancel. So we take 47 times 7 and that is going to give us 329 pounds per foot. Now the next one down is an exterior beam and an exterior beam is right here but its tributary area is only one half of the interior beams. So this is going to be 3.5 or 3 feet 6 inches. So you have to convert the inches to feet so you're going to take 6 and divide that by 12 you'll get 0.5 so I'm just going to write right there 3.5 feet and that's one half the interior beam tributary width so you take 3.5 times our 47 multiply that 3.5 times 47 equals 164.5 164.5. So that's how you do number six here on the number eight problem. That is going to be, whoops, right here. It's letter F. So you'll go all the way down through to letter F down here. All right. Now it's your turn to do that work for problem number eight.